Hi guys, in this video I will be talking to you about how to clean your flute, maintain it and keep it in good working order. Why do we need to keep the flute clean? As we play, moisture builds up on the inside of our flute. If left, this can cause corrosion and pad damage, meaning that the keys will not seal properly when you play. Ultimately, they would need to be replaced much sooner than normal, which can be very costly. So that's definitely something that we want to avoid. Sweat and natural oils in the skin, for some people, may contain high levels of sulphur, meaning that your flute may be prone to tarnish. This is a blackening of the surface, which is caused when the silver surface is exposed to hydrogen sulphide. The silver then forms a layer of silver sulphide, which, when exposed to the surface, causes the silver to darken. Sulphur is not only present in the air around us, but also in the foods we eat, such as eggs, mayonnaise, garlic and onions. So, you want to make sure that your hands are clean before you play, especially if you've eaten any of those foods. You want to swab the inside of the flute to remove moisture after playing. And you want to thoroughly wipe down the keys and surface with a polishing cloth after use to remove fingerprints and any traces of sweat, oils or food to avoid tarnish. How to clean the flute. Step number one, remove the moisture. Take out your cleaning rod and thread through the cleaning gauze, folding it over the top. Remove the foot joint carefully and place the rest of the flute down on a stable surface. Twist the cleaning rod through the foot joint to mop up the moisture and have a quick peek inside to make sure that it's all gone. Now, separate the body from the head joint. Take care if you're wearing rings, bracelets, that sort of thing, as scratches can easily occur when dismantling. Repeat the process with the body joint. Now you can either thread the rod through and pull it out from the other side, or as I like to do, thread halfway, twist, remove, and then do the same from the top section. That way you can mop up moisture quite quickly. Finally, repeat the process with the head joint. Step number two, polish. Take out your polishing cloth and begin wiping down the surfaces. Wipe off all fingerprints from the keys and try to get into those hard to reach areas as best you can. When your flute has its next service, you can always ask if they can clean those hard to reach areas for you. They have the advantage of being able to dismantle the keys. Step number three, store safely. Pop it back in the case carefully and store it in a safe place. Keep it away from all heat sources or any areas where heavy objects may fall onto it or knock it over. Important advice, do not use silver polish on your flute. The chemicals in the silver polish can break down the pads, meaning that they would need to be replaced. As well as pad damage, it can also run down into the moving parts of the flute, causing the keys to stick down as the sticky residue builds up. Just stick to the polishing cloth, it will do a great job. Make sure your flute is serviced annually and more frequently if you are playing professionally. Now, costs can vary from company to company, so do call and ask for a quote so you know what to expect. It's always worth over budgeting a little bit, just in case something crops up that you weren't expecting. If you look after your flute, your flute will look after you. I hope this has been useful for you. Please do feel free to subscribe for more videos that will hopefully enhance your playing. All the best and happy fluting.